Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today I'm going to show you guys how to color Iron Man using Copic markers. Get back here in a few seconds and check it out. Copic sent me this set of sketch markers and multi-liner pens which I'll be using today. The sketch marker itself is double-ended. It has a chisel tip and a brush tip. So I'll be coloring my sketch of Iron Man. I've already removed a lot of my construction and sketchy lines so we don't see too much of that below the markers. So these are the four markers that I'll be using mostly. You always want to test out your markers to make sure that they work. Now let's begin with the yellow. So I'm going to be using the broad tipped end to start coloring Iron Man's mask. And just kind of sketch it slowly out. You don't want to keep the marker in one area so it doesn't, you know, bleed or get too saturated on the paper. Now I'm going to switch to a pale yellow color to kind of get the outer I guess areas of that main yellow that we were using previously. Now I'm going to go back to the original yellow and make certain areas darker. Since his mask is metallic, you don't want to color in the entire thing with the same value, meaning that I'm leaving certain spots white um, to show the extra shine in it. Next, we'll be using the red. So we're going to use the tipped area of the broad end of the marker to lay down the outline of his mask. You want to be very careful here because you don't want to bleed or get into the yellow part. So we always try and work from light colors to darker colors because the lighter colors you can make darker but you can't make the darker colors lighter. And just very carefully kind of putting in certain shadow areas to make it a darker red and take your time there's no rush when you're using markers at all and now we're gonna put in the red area on his chin and notice I'm going over the uh, yellow parts that I kinda scribbled in here earlier and it's no problem because the red is darker than the yellow and I'm carefully putting in more shadowed areas on his helmet outlining it a little bit more and just filling in areas around his helmet that should be in red. Now we're going to use the Copic multi-liner pens and I'll mostly be using this 0.3 size and very carefully start marking out the areas that are in solid black areas and you don't have to you know have the entire line art inked out. In fact, inking just the parts that are in deep shadow, that makes the drawing seem more realistic. Next we're going to use this point one to put in the finer lines which are around his eyes and very carefully take your time to put this in. And this is a different, you know, style Iron Man. This is not the movie version. This is more of the comic book version Iron Man. Next, we're going to use this sand color. And this step here, as you can see, I'm lightly kind of using the sketchiness and the brush tip to really give contrast and that shiny metallic illusion on the drawing. And feel free to experiment with this technique to just lightly brush it in and to give that illusion that it's metal you're gonna leave like the center part of his helmet uh, white and the part where you see a reflection you would have that dark and notice how I brush completely over his eyes we'll fix that later and I'll show you how but for now it really makes the drawing pop which is cool. 
and once the marker is down then we can go over the drawing with the Copic multi liners these are very handy to have and like I said don't fill in the entire line um, of your drawing leave certain parts blank don't connect all the black lines together kind of just filling in the deep crevices of his mask with the multi liners going back to the uh, brush pen size of the marker for the red and now back to the yellow to kind of blend that sand brown color and the yellow a little bit more together while leaving certain parts white next I'm gonna switch to my whiteout pen shake it up make sure it's loose and we're gonna make his eyes solid white and this is how you fix that area where you wanna have solid white or even shines which around his mouth area right here or highlights and if you kind of went over an area and you didn't want it to be colored in you can just use that white out pen next I'm gonna apply the same techniques to the rest of his body as you can see I'm filling out the red going from his shoulder to his hands and back to his forearm once again using the Copic multi liners to outline the drawing and give it some of those black areas inside and we're going to darken in certain areas where it should be shadowed or shiny just to give it the illusion that it is metallic and once again back to our white our white out pen to uh, give it those spot shines and these things really make your drawing jump off the page when you have that contrast from dark to light uh, it makes the drawing look more real and not just a flat drawing you want to have variation in values in your drawing so now I'm going to take a step back look at the drawing and we're going to fix certain areas we're going to make his eyes even darker and now we're going to use this burnt sienna a brown color to give the red some value so it can be darker I'm put some strokes down here using the brush side of the pen and up here on his shoulder pads and give his helmet some shadow as well so we have the red and the darker color the yellow and its sandy darker color and I think we're just about good with this demonstration. And there you have it. That's Iron Man using Copic markers. What's up, guys? Guess what? Time for a giveaway. Cartoon Block and Copic are giving away some free stuff. One person will win a seven-piece black multi-liner set, and another person will receive a six-piece bold primary sketch marker set. And finally, one lucky person will win a 12-piece cool gray sketch marker set. For a chance to win one of these prizes, follow these steps. Step 1. In the comments below, list your favorite Avenger and why. Step 2. Go to copacolor.com and click register to make a profile. The three winners will be announced in the next Cartoon Block video. Good luck!